In this training clip, I will show you how to enter an opportunity into Salesforce. Now, preferably, all opportunities will be connected to an account and with the account to a contact. However, you need to, you can link an opportunity strictly to an account. For this example, let's say it's an opportunity that should be connected to Wiggle Your Toes. So I'll click on that account name. Now, if I scroll down, I will see any contacts within that organization and all current opportunities. Now if it wasn't connected to a contact, I'd simply click on this new opportunity button. However, since it is connected to Rob, I'll simply click on Rob's name. That brings me into his screen and now if I scroll down again I'll see the opportunities. So I'll click on new opportunity and I simply fill in the information. So for an opportunity name, let's say there's some tax work type, it's going to be new business, when's the close date, let's just say that was August 15th, stage. The stage is going to determine the percent probability. For example, let's say I was at a seminar and I just picked up a business card. Uh, that might be a lead then, and you can see the probability is at 0%. And for this tax work, I'm just going to say it's going to be $10,000. Now, if I were to go back up and change the stage from lead to, let's say, qualifying, you can now see the probability has changed. And in the reports, this will make a difference as far as the pipeline. Now, the next section that you'll work with is additional information. You know, where did the lead come from? Let's say it was a trade show lead source name, uh, we could just type in somebody's name. Next step, again this is an optional one, uh, I should go to lunch with this person. And there's a box at the bottom for any general notes that you want to leave for this opportunity. Now at this point I could simply click the save button and here's my new opportunity, uh, again next step and so on. In fact, if I go back to Accounts and click on Wiggle Your Toes and scroll down, you'll now see there's two opportunities connected to this with the stage and the amount. If I click on Rob's name and scroll down, again, you'll see there's, again, two opportunities connected to his name. So creating opportunities is pretty simple. Again, ideally, we'd like the opportunity connected to the account then a contact within that account. But if there are no contacts, you can link it to the account if necessary.